You, you back there. I know you, but you? You I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you ready to do this? Yep, we got everything we need. Okay, so move already. When you get the stuff, bring it to Devin Weston. You met him at our internal rendition site. He's a major player in the investment world, so treat him with respect. I'll show him as much respect as a friend of yours deserves. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you, that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom, so long, motherfucker. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores, big ticket cars, major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. You know, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up? with Solomon Richards. Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax, the guy's private sector. Very well. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? All right, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right, me and Trevor will be there too. I promise you, it's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Hello? Slick. Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course, you must be the creepy one. Not coming from you, please. Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh. Let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Hello? Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devin Weston Holdings. I need to tell Devin we got them calls. 
Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey, look, Kevin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Hey, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like to you what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, just kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick. Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Man, when am I gonna get a paycheck for one of these licks? All right. Frank, hey, I gotta say, it's good working with you. And that's not just because you're cheap. Cheap? Man, I ain't even been paid. Well, you're gonna be, and when you are, it'll be cheap. But that's not why I like you. Youth, ambition, stupidity. That's what I see in you. Man, fuck you. Oh, 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 did I say stupid? I meant naive. Well, not even naive. More inexperienced. A blank slate. Hey, hey, man. Look, I'm glad for the fucking work. But I ain't paid to listen to this shit. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dog. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me. To Molly. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? I'll tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this. Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, 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 don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... 
Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. Hey, Devin. Mike! Hey, 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 whoa. Solomon cannot stop talking about you, bro. I mean, major man crush. Is the feeling mutual? Oh, hell yeah. I'm telling you, whoever said don't meet your heroes, man. Whatever. Anyway, I am the guy to know, right? I make things happen. You did me a favor with the kid in the car, so I did you a favor with the film shit. You keep being useful to me, I'll keep being useful to you. That sound good? Of course it does. Namaste, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. How's Franklin doing over there? Aw, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, the sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude. Real safe. Ooh, it's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his alpha fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost car and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Hey, man, what the fuck? You said paid on delivery. You were paid into an investment fund that I'm gonna manage for you. Man, this is fucking bullshit. It may seem that way to someone uninitiated in the ways of the world, but this is really the best thing for you. Ask your friend Michael. He'll tell you I'm a useful guy to know. I ain't talking to Michael. I'm talking to your ass. Namaste, Frank. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin Weston? Weston? What about him? We delivered the last of them cars. Only he ain't paid us yet. 
Say he's gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not he's be the... such a bad idea. Are you fucking serious? Look, Franklin, you're gonna get your money, okay? From the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with Weston down at the film studio. So we gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over your deal. For real? Come on, Franklin. I've had my feet chained to a meat hook for the last few hours. Give me some time, I'll figure it out, I promise. Yeah, whatever. I saved your ass so you can kill one another? I thought we was in business together, the Union Depository. Yeah, that might have to wait, bud. You're all right, though. You got that car thing in the meantime. Actually, I don't got the car thing. We got the last ride and Devin Weston stung us on the fucking pay. He putting it in an investment fund. Really? Yeah, really. What we gonna fucking do? Hey, look. An investment fund probably ain't the worst idea. I got this other thing with Weston down at the film studio. We wait to see how that plays out. And then we talk to him about your payment. Man, it sounds like I'm getting fucking screwed. We'll deal with it, Franklin. Jesus, I still feel like I'm hanging upside down from my ankles. Let me just adjust for a while, and I'll come up with a plan. Yeah, whatever, man. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the second. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, hey, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. It's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a... A little 40 ounce in a bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? <sighs> Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly, namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! <sighs> Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my move. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. He's a psychopath! Out of my way! Get me in here! 
Devin. Hey, look, I'm sorry. My legal counsel. It was an accident. I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey, lawyers come and go. But you made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something that I am not gonna forget. Namaste. Devin Weston. Hey, buddy, your friend Michael is a dangerous guy to be around. Well, guess what? I'm a dangerous guy, too. And will be until I get the cash that need to be paid. Hey! Michael is fucked with the wrong guy. The chips are falling, and you better make sure you're on the right side of the table, pal. I'm fucking pretty sure I'm where I need to be. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, Slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Where the hell is she? <laughs> Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim. Come on! What's happening? Where's mom? Come on. The girls might be in trouble at the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But... You fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. All right, listen. I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. They came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Or is Devin Weston? I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I don't know what to say. Hey, you missed the show, buddy. Trouble at home? You came for my family, asshole? Oh, I thought going after women was fair game. Molly died in an accident while following your orders. And I'm sorry for that, okay? Well, accidents happen, don't they? Hey, send your private army after me if you have to, pal. I won't be hiding. Shit, Frank. You know some guys just tried to kill us at the house? Man, fuck. Who? Uh, Devin Weston, that rich investor guy? Pretty weird. Damn, Devin fucking Weston, huh? Of course. I told your dad he was bad people. Did he come for you, too? Nah. Shit, nothing like that. But he did rob me, man. Is everyone okay? Yeah, yeah, we're gangster, dog. Uh, shit. Okay, man, look. Look after yourself, all right? Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah! But that's my boy. Hey, 
but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man, the feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds, Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, Try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. Franklin, homie, what's happening, man? Hey, you know you sound kind of patronizing and borderline racist when you speak to me like that? Ah, grow up. Is it more patronizing than telling you to ice your favorite uncle? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. How'd it go? Past performance, homie. People don't fucking change. You did. You. Two-bit gangster on three-bit. Now you're gonna... Gap. The only one who was ever decent to you. No. I trusted you. I took you in. Treated you like family. Look, it happened, man. So y'all gotta get the FIB off my case, man, since I didn't smoke Trevor for him. It's already done, homie. Haynes' boss has been spoken to. All right, so now what? You got a job for me? Oh, I had a job for you, Slick, and you just did it. Let me take a look down a list of your uses and... Oh, yeah, we're all out of them. I do have some advice for you, though. Go to business school, because clown school ain't worked out so good. Why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. Okay, Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather, I think actually... Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. Who wanna clap your homie? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Hey, Lester! I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, the Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Who's next? I'm picking up Devin Weston so we can have some uh, fun with him. Now, don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least.
Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Someone's shooting my security! What do you mean all our operatives are dead? Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliff off the GOA, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Where am I? What happened? You, you don't know what you're getting into, pal! Pipe down! You know, you're a, you're a resourceful guy getting past those train killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go! You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you will ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah! A, a fellow entrepreneur! Let me buy a steak and give you money to grow! I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold-rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You crazy bum! Yeah, fuck! Fuck! Go meditate, you phony prick! Here we are, Slick. With a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so! Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> Hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinion's on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? 